I ever find you near this house again, I will tell you that I am from Abriba. You have used your witchcraft Mama, to kill my son. Mama, be cool. So you are still listening to what Mama is saying, eh? Look, I don't want to touch you. Just respect yourself and go away. But Mama, Mama, why are you asking me out of my husband's house? What have I done wrong? Mama, even if I've done something wrong, please. Mama, please. Even if I've done something wrong. For the sake of this baby. Hey. For the sake of this child, Mama, have ah, me. What did I hear you say? Please. Which house did you call your husband's house? Uh, and whom did you call your husband? <laughs> How much dowry did Onyebuchi, my son? Be on your head. <laughs> How many of our king's men followed my son to your house to marry you? Ma. Do my people know your parents? <laughs> Answer me. I shall go. Oh, me. Pastor, Ma. push her out. Get up. Get up. Mama, please. You, you must go. Mama, go. Mama, I beg of you. Mama. You must surely go. Ma? Collect that child from me. Don't touch my baby. Give me the baby. Oh, yeah, Don't touch my Give me the baby. baby. Give me the baby. Give me my baby. Give me, Give me, baby. Give me my baby. baby. Mama, 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 please. Mama, mama, be cool. Mama, mama. This child is a replacement of my son. Uh, this child is what my son spent. No, you go give me my son. No, 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 give me my Get up, get up, get up. No, no, give me my son. Move, move, move. Go, give me my son. Go. Give me my son. I've heard all what you have said. Yes. But which of my daughters are you asking for a hand in marriage? They are all in the city. Except um, Nemwa, who just came back from Kaduna a few months ago. Yes, sir. You are very correct. That's the one I'm talking about. Osodi? Emma. Go and call your daughter. Young man, sir. What is your name? I'm Augustine Okechuku. And these are your people. Yes. 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 You say you come to marry my daughter. Yes, sir. I'm not a summer. You're all welcome. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. No. Thank you. Good day, sir. Hey, good day. Adama, how are you? How are you? Fine, thank you. Name one. Papa. These people are for you. They have come to ask for your hand in marriage. This is Augustine. And these are his people. Yes. Papa, please. Who amongst them is asking for my hand in marriage? It's me. This is Augustine. Will you marry him? Yes, I will. It is a will of the oh. Almighty. Oh, you are great. Um, well, um, we've all had her. Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mama. Good afternoon. I was good today. Fine, Mama. Where is Papa? Oh, he's inside the house. Let me go and meet him. Okay. Why did you go see him here? Oh. Good afternoon, Papa. Good afternoon, my son. How are you? I'm fine. Mm. Papa, mm. our teacher said that I should not fail to pay my school fees. Or I will not take my exams. Mm. Don't worry. I'll give it to you tomorrow. Thank you, Papa. You're welcome. Thank you. Go and keep your bag and your and move your dress. Come and help me here. Oh? Yes, Mama. That's my boy. Yes. <laughs> God, please help me to train up this child to my taste. Nay, just believe. God will surely do that for us, eh? Mm. <laughs> Let me go and see Okoro. 
Thursday. I'll be back in the evening. Okay. Mm. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you very much. What's the matter, Mama? Duba, why are you crying? Grandma is sick. Sick? Mama, what's the matter? My son, I, I am feeling pains all over my body. Please, if you still want me to leave, please take me to the hospital. Oh? Well, your your body is hot, but I don't think it's anything serious. I mean, it must be malaria. Everybody suffers malaria. So let's not waste money going to hospital. Doctors are very greedy these days. Now, what you do is take some pain relievers. Huh? Uh, here, take this money, 200 naira. Buy some analgesic, take them, and the pain will go. You'll be all right. Hmm? Let us not waste money going to the hospital. Dube, make sure you help Mama to buy the drugs. I want to see a friend whose sister just died. I'll be back soon, okay? But Uncle, this money is too small for the medicine. Ah! <laughs> oh my God. Now make sure you help her to buy the medicine. Don't cry, <laughs> Cool. <laughs> Thanks. It's the work of the Almighty, you know. <laughs> How's business? Uh, no problem. I'm actually about to travel to the village, so I came to take some fuel. Village? I hope that's no problem. No problem. Uh, you know, I usually go every two weeks to see my mother. Like they say, mothers are not sold in the market. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me, how is your mother? Well, she's fine. Although she had a little malaria last time I traveled, but that's been taken care of. Okay, you took her to the hospital? No, actually, I, um, I gave her some money to buy drugs. Instead of taking her to the hospital, you should have brought her over here to Lagos where the qualified doctor will take a good look at her. I, I didn't want to do that. You see, um, even though she's my mother, she's a bit local. I mean, what will my friends say? I don't want to be disgraced. Ejike, I don't understand you. Have you forgotten how that woman suffered for you to bring you up? Now you are made suddenly she has become a local woman? <laughs> Man, that's cold and heartless. I, I, I don't understand you. I'll, I'll see you. How much?
<laughs> Welcome. How are you? Fine. How was your journey? Oh, very fine, Mama. How are you? I'm okay. Where is Papa? Uh, he went out. I'm sure he'll soon be back. Okay. Welcome. Thank you, Mama. Yay. So, how is everything? Yeah, perfectly all right. I hope there is no problem. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, something is troubling you. What is it? Humphrey, I'm worried about your frequent visits to the village. Uh -uh. I just wish you can make it once a month or two months. Lagos is too far away. You have to take such risks coming to see me. Mama, why are you talking like this? If I don't take these risky journeys to come and see you, then who will I do it for? I was even thinking that I should be coming at least once every week so that I can be... Stop it! You go, you go Hey, leave it the way it is. Because you leave it just okay, the way okay, it is. Okay, Mama. No problem. <laughs> I brought this for you. <laughs> Me? <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my son. Thank you very much. Hey, how is for me? <laughs> Mama is nothing. Hey. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you. God will continue to bless you. Oh. You will never stop thinking about your mother. <laughs> hey. Hey, well. Are you still sick? But Ejike told me he had taken care of you. Oh, Uncle, it is a lie. He gave my money to other Naira to buy medicine. 200 Naira? Yes. How can a man treat his mother like this? Can you stay with any of your uncles, Anthony or Ifechu? Yes, but what about Mama? Don't worry, don't worry about Mama. Mama, I'm coming, eh? You know, the way I'm planning this, our traditional marriage, yes. it's going to be talk of town. <laughs> you know, when I did the introduction, your townspeople were shaking. This time around, they're going to take off. <laughs> Hold on, Lagos is going down east. Hi. Andrew, can you have a visitor? Humphrey, when did you return from the village? Just a short while ago. Oh, you're welcome, Humphrey. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Please, sit down. Ejika said you have a visitor. A visitor? Where is the person? Outside. What's the meaning of this, eh? For God's sake, what is the meaning of this? The meaning of this is that you should take her to the hospital. Educate, who is she? Huh? She is your fiancé's mother. What? She's been sick all this while and he has refused to take her to the hospital. Educate. Educate, you told me that your mother is dead. What? Yes. Educate. I can't believe this. You told her your mother is dead? May God help you. Mama, 
talk to you. Yes. <sighs> why did you tell me that your mom is dead? Why is she still alive? Oh, is that why you woke me up? What concern of yours is it? It concerns me because she's my mother-in-law to be. Hmm. All right. All right. The truth is, I'm ashamed of letting people know that she is my mother. I mean, how can I let people know that she's my mother? I mean, she, she, she's too, she's too local. I mean, you know the kind of friends I keep. Hey, Chiki, just listen to yourself. So, are you telling me that your friends are more important than the woman that gave birth to you? Is that what you're saying? Eh? Come, come, come. Listen, let me tell you. No matter what, EJK, no matter what, whether your mother is crippled, blind, deaf, and dumb, your mom is your mom, for God's sake. And listen. Once she's discharged from the hospital, I will personally bring her here to live with us, whether you like it or not. Keep quiet! Will you shut up? Look at you. What do you think you are telling me what to do in my own house? <laughs> well, you can shout to high heaven. I've said it and I mean it. Period. What nonsense. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Oh, glory be to God. Amen. How is your family? Oh, they're doing fine. Mm. Yes. Um, what about AGK and Beatrice? When was the last time they came here? Since AGK dropped me here, I have not set my eyes on her. But Beatrice was here yesterday. She came here last night and promised to come again today. My son, I want to thank you. I don't know what I would have done without you. It's okay. Mom. Thank you very much. It's okay. Maybe I would have died in that village. Oh, don't talk like that. My son, I don't know what I've done to my son, AJK. I don't know why he hates me so much. It's okay, Mama. Um, everything is going to be all right. I will talk to AJK. Ah. Humphrey, you're here. Oh, Beatrice, <laughs> how are you? I'm fine, Mama. Come on, hi, Beatrice. Oh, I'm you're welcome. Thank you. Now, I brought your food. Um, Beatrice, what about AGK? Why hasn't he come to see Mama since the day he brought her here? Humphrey, I want you to talk to AGK. No matter what Mama has done to him, I mean, he should forgive and forget. My yeah. son, please help me thank this girl. <laughs> she has been taking care of me since I came here. <laughs> My daughter, <laughs> God will bless you. Amen. <laughs> Mama, I want to assure you that with Beatrice by your side, you don't have any problem. <laughs> Meanwhile, you don't worry. I'll talk to AGK about his behavior. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to go now. Mm -hmm. I'll see you some other time. Okay,
Oh, my bread, something nice for you. What is that? Plantain and vegetable. Uh, <laughs> I know you cook very well. <laughs> yes. Are you taking her to? Where are you going inside? Take her to the boys' quarters. Why? Why do you want her to stay in here? Oh, you want her to mess up my house simply because she's my mother? Look, I don't have any room for her in this main house, okay? So you take her to the boys' quarters, you hear me? Ejike. Ejike. We have over 40 rooms in here. So why, why, no, why so do you want me? Keep quiet. And do just what I asked you to do, okay? Why are you treating mama like this? Why? What has she done to you? If you go to the boys' quarters, who, who will be staying there with you? Huh? I'll be fine. It doesn't matter. Take me there. Huh? I don't. I don't like it. you not to step into this parlor again that you dirty my seats and environment listen if I get you in this parlor again you will regret the day you came to Lagos you hear me and you Beatrice Beatrice Be Beatrice be careful you must be careful in this house Beatrice Cleaner. Sit down, please. Okay, thank you. Uh, what if it's happened? Sorry about the embarrassment, okay? Then why must your wife bring your cleaner into your parlor? To relax. That's too bad. Well, it's one of those things. I'm really sorry, okay? Now, Boniface, what do I offer you? Well, just give me wine. That's for him. I better give you this. <laughs> I know you do it. <laughs> All right. Wine and juice. Come. Yet married to you. Huh? And my prayers is that he marries you. Huh? You see, I already take you as my daughter in law. 
Huh? It's okay, God, Mama. God will bless you. Amen, Mama. What? Mama, why are you crying? Huh? Why are you crying, Mama? Okay, go, go. Let's go. Let's go inside. Come. Come, let's go. I'm not going back into the house again. Oh, Mama. Because yeah, I've already brought out my bag. I won't go back into the house okay, again. Okay, Mama, where, where, where do you want to go to? I want to go to the village. <laughs> Mama, what are you going to do in the village? Eh, what are you going there to do? I want to go to the village before you, my son kills me and throws me into the gutter. Okay, it's okay, Mama. Okay, Mama, stop crying. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying, okay? It's okay. Stop crying, okay? What are you still doing there? You haven't finished? HK. Please come and hear what Mama is saying. What did she say? Mama says she wants to go back to the village. Oh, that's even better. That means I'll take her to the park tonight so that she can go with the night bus. What? Educate. Let's go. Educate. So, you mean you actually want Mama to travel this night with the night bus? I don't understand you anymore. I don't. And I'm not going anywhere with you. You want me to start crying? Mm -hmm. Mama, what is the matter? I saw it, you keep driving out as I was, I was just coming in. It's okay, Mama. Beatrice, why is Mama crying? Just because Mama says she wants to go back to the village, because of what she has been passing through in this house, AJK asked Mama to travel with the night bus tonight. What? Yes. <laughs> what is wrong with this AJK? I don't know. Huh? Hey. Mama, it's okay. Okay, Humphrey. don't worry. I'm even traveling to the village to go and see my mother. Come, I'm taking you to the village. Humphrey, yes. are you sure? Yes, yes, thank yes. You. Are you really Humphrey. sure? Yes. Oh, God, thank you. Humphrey, thank you very much. Thank you very much. You. Mama, I'm coming. Just a minute. Just a I will still send you some more, okay? Just have it managed, okay? Mama, I'm going to miss you. Give me a minute. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you. you. Come to see yeah, me I will come to the village. I will come. I just take care of you. Humphrey, thank you very much. God bless you. I wish you the best. Safe journey, okay? That's very oh, kind of you. Thank you very much. I, I will come to the village later, eh? Right. Bye bye. Oh, thank you. So, Papa, what I'm saying is that I want Mama to come with me to Lagos so that she can stay for about a month. My son, your mother is here. If she agrees to go with you, that's no problem. Mama, you heard what Papa said. I want you to get ready. Tomorrow morning, you're leaving with me to Lagos. Well, my son, I have heard what you and your father have said. But I will not go with you. Why? If I do, nobody will take care of my goods. Moreover, I still have some work to finish up in my farm. You know your father doesn't stay around all the time. Go. When next you come, I'll go with you. But, Mama, how much are the goods and the work in the farm that they should stop you from coming to Lagos with me? Okay. I'll get somebody to take care of them for you, and I'll pay the person. <laughs> Don't worry, my son. Just go. When next you come, I'll go with you. My son, <laughs> even if you talk from now till tomorrow morning, she will not agree to follow you. So I suggest by the next time you come, she would have made up her mind. And probably after the harvest, when we are resting, she may come. It's all right, Papa. Gentlemen, as I was saying, 
It is my responsibility as the chairman of this club to summon this meeting so that we can discuss the traditional marriage of our member, who is also our vice president. Chairman, sir, please stretch your curtain. When is the marriage taking place? According to the invitation I have here, the marriage will take place on the 10th of next month, which gives us more than a whole month to plan. Well, uh, I don't think this should waste much of our time. We will, however, go according to our rules and regulation, following the constitution. I agree. Excuse me. Hello? Yeah, Humphrey Ibizim speaking. What? My mother? Gentlemen, I am sorry I have to leave immediately. I've just been informed that my mother is critically ill. So I have to rush to the village. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, educate, can you please carry on with the rest of the No, 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 Humphrey, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Why don't you stay, finish the meeting, before you travel to the village? After all, you are the president. You summoned this meeting and you said it's an emergency meeting. I'm telling you I've just been informed about my mother being critically ill. You carry on with the meeting. Uh -huh. Oh, Humphrey, Humphrey, come back. Look, no, see, carry on with the meeting, you can do that. Humphrey, I... I don't like this. Gentlemen, I don't like this. He is the president, he summoned this meeting, told us it's an emergency meeting. Halfway, he leaves, he goes to the village. Now, this is an insult. I, I think it's... It's okay, will you shut up? I mean, do you actually know what a murder means? Listen, and listen very good. If you don't preside over this meeting, <coughs> I'm afraid I'll have to leave. Educate. If your own mother is not important to you, mine is so precious to me. What are we buying for Mama this Sunday? Mama? Yeah. For what? Oh, it's like you've forgotten on Sunday is Mother's Day. Daddy, we need to buy something special for Mama. Special gifts. Something lovely. Well, you may be right, but I won't be there. That's all. Where will you be going? Okay, okay, okay. You know what? Then you give me money and I'll buy something special for her. That's no money. Huh. I don't have money now. Mm. I'm putting all the money I have together for a traditional way. There's no money. Yes. Not at all. No money. Okay, it's fine. No money, but I have a surprise for you. Bye. Bye. Where did you go? Oh, thanks for Mama. It's fine, isn't it? I'm just going to surprise you. Bring it here. Why? <laughs> why? So <laughs> why? Oh! <laughs> Come on! Stop it! It's for my stuff for you. <laughs> oh my God! How can you waste money on things like this? What? Why did you do that? Come on, it's unfair. It's unfair, JK. I don't like this. Don't try that again. She doesn't deserve it. Today's Modern Sunday is unique in that 
at last, both the Anglican and the Catholic order have agreed to have an interdenominational service. This is a worthy effort towards unification of all churches in the country. Today is a day everybody should glorify God. For everyone that is born unto this earth has a mother. Anybody who neglects his mother neglects God. May motherhood be always glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Members of the congregation will now come with their offerings, after which our mothers will follow suit. May we now have the song. an additional gift. For me? <laughs> huh? Yes, Mama.
Zion lady. Good afternoon. That was a beautiful modern Thank Sunday. You. How are your children? They are fine. Are your family? Oh, they are fine. They are inside. Let's go in. Iron lady. Iron lady. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. I can see that. That's for you. to promise you that as long as I'm alive, I'll bring you up both in education and morals. Hmm? But you, you have to promise me one thing. That no matter what you later become in life, you'll be a good boy and you'll never forget me, your mother. Mama, hmm? I promise no matter the condition, I will never forget you. My mom. Get up. Mama, mm -hmm. let me go and wash my screen for you. Okay. Go. Mama? Mama? Let you go. Mama? No. Nah. Okay. What is it? I was sent out of school. Why? They say that I haven't paid my school fees and we are starting our exam the day after tomorrow. So they sent you out because you haven't paid your school fees, eh? Yes, ma'am. Don't worry. Oh, ma'am. Don't worry, eh? Don't cry, eh? I'll find a way of paying your school fees, oh? Yes, ma'am. And you'll be, take your exams, eh? Yes, ma'am. Don't cry. Go there now and sit. Wait for me. I'll soon finish and we'll go, eh? Yes, ma'am. Don't cry again. His exam, and I have no 
Ijike. Don't worry, you will surely sit for that exam. I'll give you 500 now. Hey, madam, is it because I need money urgently? Hey, please, put a little more money now, I beg you. This madam, Abada, this Abada is second-handed. If you don't want to sell at her price, forget it. Hey. I'll pay you cash. I'll give you 500 now. of suffering is this. Since my husband died, I've been going through hell. My son is about to take his WASC exam. No money to register him. We can't even eat two times a day. God, please, don't allow my son to rot away because of I'm just taking fresh air. Hmm? Let's go in, Mama. No, no. Mm. Go. I'll join you. Okay. Go. son just left to school this morning and I have given him all the money available in this shop. Nice. Nice. Please. I am in serious trouble. If you don't give me this money, my son will not register for West African School Certificate Examination. I beg you in the name of God, help me. Please. Woman, hmm? that is one thing with you people. Hmm. You don't understand when somebody is telling you the truth. There is no money with me in this shop. No money, no money. Please try somewhere else. Woman, do you 
think you have come to the bank to borrow money? How I will explain this for you to understand. Eh? I have told you, none of these people that bought my things of oil has paid me even a gobo. Eh? Don't come back. There's no money. Please, when can I come back? For now, I wouldn't know. Even if they pay me, I will use the money to buy more things of oil. Eh? You know I'm a businesswoman. Go. No one. There's no money. Story. Oh, yeah. Go. Thank you. Thank you. Go and don't come back here again. Oh, thank you. No, you can thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come. Come. Collect the cassava and go. Don't come back here again. Stop it, too. Are you the only one that has this kind of foul? Eh? Eh? I'm telling you this is my foul, and you're and you're telling me you're telling me what? It's eh? not your foul. It's my it's own. It's not my foul. Eh? Who gave it to you? What do you eh? mean? Uh, I said, who gave it to you? Mean by that? Wait, 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 wait. What is the matter? Oh, look at this woman. Excuse me. Her and eh? accuse me excuse of me. her foul. Eh? Yes. Mbaike, is it true? Yes. This is my foul. Excuse me. This is a very simple matter. No one. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything to show that this foul belongs to you? No, that this is my foul. Wait. You, Mbeke, do you have any? Yes. 
If you check underneath the right wing of that foul, you will see one red cloth. I tied that. Please open the wing. Let's see. Yes, Hold it now. Let's see. This village called you is to bring to your notice that we have met and concluded that you should not buy mark my word you should not buy nor sell to any woman in this village yes. Yes. yes secondly you should not go to any woman's house as long as this village is concerned number yes. two thirdly no one, you should not fish water where other women are fishing. Number four. We will have nothing to do with you for one whole year. Oh, yes. No, is that clear? Yes. Fine. In short, consider yourself an outcast. Hey! Hey! Shut up! Can I say something? Shut up, you thief! You've nothing to say! A chairperson has spoken, and that is final. Yes, yes. exactly. You must not fight. You will see. of women came here and complained of the same thing. So I want to know why all these things are happening. Hey. Well, Reverend, all what you said is true. 
But it is a long story. I will make it short. You see, Reverend, three years after I married my husband, my parents died. Then seven years later, my husband, Augustine, also died. And my husband's eldest brother forcefully took over all our properties, leaving me with nothing to look after my only son. Reverend, I had no alternative but to steal. Honestly, I was not born to be a thief. It's okay, madam. Crying will not solve this problem. Crying your heart out will not solve this problem. Okay? Yes, thank you. It is quite a pity that all these things happened to you. I will send for the members of the church committee and table your problem before them. That we, we put our heads together and know how we can assist you. Hmm? Thank you. Meanwhile, I will reconcile you with the entire women in the village. Hey, you'll do that for me. I'm going to do that. Thank outright. you, Reverend. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Madam, please, please, please Thank don't, you. Do, don't do that. Huh? Sit down. Oh. Thank you. Madam, have this 5,000 naira. Hmm? Sure. Take it. Madam, you don't, you, don't, you don't have to kneel down, madam. Don't do it at heart. It's okay. Thank you. So you manage it for now, huh? Eh? It will be all right. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. I'll be with you, huh? Eh? Thank you. Like I was saying, the Holy Bible says we should forgive one another. That is why I am passionately appealing to all of you to please forgive her. Quite all right. What she did was very, very disgraceful to the entire women of this village. But we should all understand that this woman has a big problem on her hands shortly after her husband died. When she asked some of you here to lend her some money, you refused. So in a situation like this, what do you expect her to do? But that notwithstanding, I am once more appealing to all of you to please, please forgive her. At least for the sake of the Christ in all of us. Even the committee has promised to take care of her son. Thank you. Well, Reverend, what about you? You see, this woman did a very painful and disgraceful thing. Yes, and that's why we, the women of this village, took such a decision. But I believe that is a pastor now. Yes. But she can only be forgiven <coughs> if she will humbly come out here, kneel, and ask for forgiveness. Oh, why not? Woman, you've heard her. Could you please do what? She has just said. Please do not forgive me. I will never do that again. Do what again? I will never steal again. Please forgive me. Forgive me. Well, woman, let's say to her is who? And to 
forgive is divine. So you have been forgiven. Stand up, stand, stand, stand up. Sorry. Hmm? You have been forgiven. It's all right. So. Going to do this woman is dying here. Uh, I suggest that we tell her son, AJK, to let him come home because the mother is seriously sick. And he should come home immediately to take her to hospital. Yes, Ziwago, your suggestion is good. But if we tell AJK that his mother is sick, he will not come. Hmm? Huh? So what do we do? We should tell him that his mother is dead. What? Dead? What? Yes. Yes. If you tell AJK that his mother, who is uh, still breathing, is dead. Is that what you mean? Nziwago, I know AJK very well. I know him very well. That is the only way to bring him home. Well, if that is the only way, let us do it. If that is the only way we can bring the son back to take care of her. Let's do that immediately. We must do that too. Let's do that. We must do that too. Before this woman Let dies, we must do, do that. that. I am going. Ugo? Where are you coming from? From the village. I hope there's no problem. No, no, but only in the Iwagwa and somebody that said I should give this letter to you. Oh my God! Mama is dead. What? How? When did it happen? Ejike, what happened to Mama? When? When? Ejike, what happened to Mama? What happened to Mama? Oh, God. God, why Mama? Why Mama? Poor woman. Ejike. Please come. Looking for one um, name one one four. I have been to her father's house, and somebody there told me that she is married into this family. I don't know if I'm in the right place. 
Uh, yes, welcome, my son. This is the right place. But who are you? Um, my name is Ernest. I am based in Abuja. You are welcome, my son. Thank you, Papa. This is the woman you are looking for. And she's suffering from stroke. Stroke? Mm. Stroke. Stroke. But where are her, her husband and children? Where are they? My son. Her husband died many years ago. And she had only a son who doesn't take care of her. In fact, he abandoned her. However, we have sent for him to come. Mm. Abandon my mother? Yes. Huh? Hi. Uh, my son, I'm still asking you. Who do you say you are? Papa. I am Ernest. This woman here is my mother. Mother? Yes, my mother. How? Where and when? It's a long story, but I'll try to make it very short. You see, my mother was married to my late father, one Mr. Nyebuchi, back in Kaduna many years ago. My father died when I was a year old. My grandparents and uncles threw my mother out of our house. But now that I'm grown, I have decided to come look for her to take care of her. Hmm? You mean you are Nenwa's son? Papa, this woman here is my mother. My name is Ernest. I'm her son, for God's sake. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Nenwa, Nenwa, your son is here. Your son. Your son is here. Nenwa. No one. It's not a chica. It's Ernest. Yes, yeah, son. Yes, Papa, please, please. Mama, 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 look at me, mama, 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 mama. Open your eyes. It's, look at me, touch me, feel me, feel me, feel me, mama, feel me. My name is Ernest. Remember me, remember me. Mama, you still remember my father, my late father, Mr. Nyebuchi. Back in Kaduna many years ago, mama. He died when I was a year old. Remember me, remember. Open your eyes, mama, look at me. Mama, it's me. I have come to take care of you. Your sufferings are over. Oh my God. My mother can't even talk to me. My mother can't even, she can't even recognize me. My mother can't recognize me. If I lay my hands on that ingrate, I will teach him a lesson. He will never forget. It's a promise. It's okay, my son. Eh? Thank God I'm still alive. You see, at least now that I have seen you, I feel like I've been relieved of so many years of pain. And it shows that my God is still alive. What is happening here? Huh? I got a letter saying that Mama is dead. And you have come to bury her. You have come to bury her. 
So you are the ingrate that abandoned Mama in the village. After all, she did for you. You! Who, who the hell is this? Ejike, he is your mother's first son. Wait, Mama's child? Yes. yes. Her very first son. I'm still confused. I mean, why did Ugochuku do this to me? Leave Ugochuku out of this, you ungrateful son. <laughs> Where the elders play the trick on you in order to save your mother? Sorry, it is true. It is true, huh? It is true that you abandoned Mama in the village. Who beat that she will die, eh? Who beat that she will die? So you can come and bury her. You! It's okay, it's okay. No, excuse it's me. Okay. It's okay. Listen, listen and listen but, good. Uh, Mama is not going to spend one additional second in this house. I'm taking her to my house in Abuja. In great. Mama, let us go and pack your things. Mama, no. Mama, Mama, Mama please. please. Mama, please forgive me. Mama, please, I beg you. I am still your son. Please. Forgive me. You are still my mother. I love you. Forgive your son. I beg you. Mama, please, let's go. Mama, come. Come back, come back, come back. Come back, my son. This is not the time to fight. It is not even a time to beg. Ejike, come with your wife. Let us see what we, what we can do about, about all these things you brought for your mother's funeral. Elders, let us go. Up where? Come on. Don't touch it. It's an abomination. You have done is like digging a grave, but not having a corpse to bury inside the grave. So, we have to get a corpse. How? By offering sacrifices to the gods of the village, your mother's people, and your family. Sacrifices? <laughs> you all must be joking. Ejike. You must be joking. Ejike. This is, let's go. Ejike. Be careful, or you become that corpse that will occupy the new dog grave. Oh, Elders, please. Elders, have pity on me. Please, forgive my husband. Eh? Just, just tell us what to do, please. Eh? please. My daughter, listen to me. <laughs> For the sacrifice, you will need tele cows, 36 tufas of yam, tele cockroaches, and tele alligator paper. Zaywabu, please, how much will it cost in terms of cash? Yes. 200,000 naira. For a start, we will inform you if it is not enough. You can go. Thank you. Thank you very much. In as much as I would have loved to come back, I cannot. Your late father, Onyebuchi, did not pay a kopo on my head as a bride price. My people don't even know him. My having you with him was just a coincidence. Besides, I am married with a son. Mama, please. 
keep that son of yours thing out of this discussion and let's discuss more pressing matters. Are you trying to tell me that I will be without a mother again? A motherless child when my mother is still alive? Is that what you're trying to tell me, Mama? Mama, Mama please. Listen to my husband. We still need you, Mama. Yeah. My children. Anything a mother will do for the children, I will do for you. But there is no way I can come back to that family. That's tradition, I guess. Please have mercy. Help me. Look, AGK. Take it easy. Everything is going to be all right. Humphrey, you don't seem to understand my worry. Do you know what it means for a woman to be in labor for 10 minutes? Not to talk about four days. I, I, I think I may have to relocate her from this hospital. But it's too late. The doctor has already gone far. Well, there is only one solution. Uh, is it operation? Oh, no need for that. She does not have enough strength. Anything like that now will lead to complication. I think you should go and call your mother. Your wife is always calling her name, saying that you should bring her immediately. Doctor, my mother is in Abuja. Then go for her before it is too late. Do you have the address? No, I don't. But I just have to get it anyhow. Humphrey, what do I tell my mother now? Even Ernest, how will he understand? I'm, I'm finished. Look, whatever you have to do, do it fast. Your wife's life is at stake. Um, I'll give you my cousin's address in Abuja. It okay. can help you locate the place. Let's okay. Move. Okay. I want to see our guy next. He's my brother. I came in from Lagos. Come in. Thank you. Wait here. Let me see Morgan. Okay. Listen to me. Before I close my eyes and open them, I want you to get out of here or you're a dead man. 
Ernest, please. I've come to talk to Mama. My wife is in hospital. She's dying. And what business has that got to do with Mama? Listen to me. I beg you, in the name of whatever thing you hold secret, get the hell out of my house before I lose my temper. Ernest. I said get the hell out of my house! Ernest, you have... Get out of here, my friend! Oh, Mama. Well, you're welcome. Hi, Dad. Who is he? The stupid man that abandoned Mama in the village. He's now coming to beg Mama that his wife is dying in one hospital and she's in labor. Is Mama a doctor? Ask him. Educate. Educate. What have you come to do here? Eh? I. The thing... Please leave me and my children alone. Oh, now you have come to see. Your old, dirty, stinking mother, eh? Mama, please. Mama, Mama, please. He has come to tell you something. What is it? Says his wife is dying in this hospital and... Yes, that's why I came. For the past four days she's been in hospital. Doctor says she's been Ooh. shouting your name and that if I don't bring you, she might die. Beatrice. Yes. Hey. Mama, come. Hey, the Lord has done it. Your wife has been delivered of a set of twins. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 what about my wife? Your she wife is perfectly okay. Thank eh? God. Thank God. Now come and see your baby. <laughs> See, Beatrice, I don't know how I can make up for all the terrible things I did to Mama in the past. <laughs> Come on, darling. You see, I'm sure Mama has forgiven you. Yes. Mama is okay. Mm -hmm. She's okay. Hmm? Where'd you go? Be rest assured that I have forgiven you. <laughs> I'm telling your mother. Let us forget the past, okay? You heard her. <laughs> Darling, there's nothing as sweet as a mother's love. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. Oh, let, let, me, let me get the door. Okay. Oh, and then. <laughs> <laughs> That uh, you've only done the introduction. And that is not uh, enough. She's right, Mama. She's right. Okay, so when are we going to do the big thing? When are we going to do the big thing? As soon as my big brother approves. Approves. Yeah, approves. Yeah, approves. Congratulations, Victory. Oh, Luigi, thank you very much. Um, let's go and see the baby. Uh, look at <laughs> <laughs> Go on, gossip no, boys. No, no, no. Go on, gossip boys. Go on, gossip boys. By the way, Jiki, Mama has stayed in your house for so long a time. Mm -hmm. Mama, your packer thinks you are going with me this minute. Oh, no, she's not. She has to stay until the Omugo is over. Not Omugo. I am the big brother. I decide where Mama stays. Mama, you are going with me this minute. <laughs> Mama is not complaining. Are you complaining? No. Mama is complaining. You are yeah. monopolizing Mama. You know? I want to feel Mama's presence in my house. Anyway, yeah. she, she will have to make up her mind when to I be. have made up her mind for her. Mama is going with me. <laughs> um, when the time comes, she will make up her mind. Um, beyond that, I have a problem. Problem? That is what? Why I'm the elder brother? What's the problem? Tell me. The twins. They consume a lot of baby food. <laughs> look, 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 at, look at, look at, look at. I don't have this. No, no, no. Beyond that, beyond that, they cry all night. And I, I can't sleep. I, 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 I don't. You cried more than me. <laughs> Jika, let me tell you. You are now a babysitter. That's yes. what you are. Come on, come and show me my babies before you start complaining of sleeping. You don't sleep at night. Like that. 